Yo, what is up guys? AD here back with another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be diving into the Nikkei Developer Team G-Star interview. So they recently just had posted this, honestly, just a few minutes ago on their Twitter account. And this is going to be my first time diving into it. So let's get started here. We do have the first question and answer here on screen. How did the team go about transforming the concept art into actual gameplay? Besides the regular sprites, stunning character models at a one-to-one -one scale of concept art will appear when players control these characters in third-person perspective to fight, shoot, take cover, etc. To achieve such performance, we have created concept art of shooting poses from every angle, including portrait, rear view, and frontal view for all controllable characters, which is three times the work compared to a normal character. So basically here, they're just telling us that they did design all views of each character here for the Nikkei cast. So very nice to hear they have been putting a ton of work into all of their character models so definitely would love to see all of the angles of these units as they have put a ton of work into the characters based on that answer next up here we do have the second question what can players expect from the game in goddess of victory nikkei players can control characters to shoot targets on the screen either manually with the support of the aim assist system or automatically we believe the most essential part of a shooting game is the shooting gameplay itself and the game commits to providing a brand new and unique shooting experience on mobile devices. Besides the excellent TPS mechanics, we also worked hard to make the game more impressive with superb graphics. All of the game's playable characters as well as the enemies have their own unique styles and are full of details that are closely attached to the lore of the game's world. Using a variety of features, players will build up their forces and fight their way through this fascinating and challenging world. So a nice answer here of what we could expect from the game. Of course, they do have the aim assist here in Nikkei Goddess of Victory, as well as they have been focusing a ton on the gameplay itself. As compared to Destiny Child, if you have ever played their previous shift up game, the gameplay isn't too immersive. So they do seem to be improving a ton here heading into their second gacha with Nikkei. So I'm glad to see here based on this answer. And overall, I'm pretty excited for the gameplay myself. Next up here, we do have what's special about the Nikkei's enemies. When designing the enemies, we worked hard to make them a worthwhile challenge. We utilize many technologies to improve the stereoscopic feeling so that the players can enjoy the charm and advantages of 2D graphics, which are generally unachievable for 3D games. We have also designed a system called Monster Core. Monster Cores are the weaknesses of the various monsters in the game. Shooting accurately at the cores will deal more damage to the monsters. All boss class monsters will have a destructible target on their bodies, which can stop the bosses from launching powerful attacks when they are shot. We also do have here players won't feel as though they are put in a passive position when fighting bosses. So very nice here. They are describing the enemies here, specifically the monsters and how they do have a weakness in them called the monster core in which allows the player to deal more damage when you do shoot at the core. So very nice here. And of course they do add towards the end, the players won't feel as though they are put in a passive position when fighting bosses. So we'll definitely still have a challenge it does seem here based on their answer. As for the second image here, we do have the next question. Please give a short introduction of the game. What kind of game is it? Goddess of Victory Nikkei is a shooting game with an anime inspired art style. The game is about beautiful girls fighting for the survival of mankind in a post-apocalyptic world. The most unique feature of this game is the third person shooting gameplay. We placed a lot of effort into presenting the charisma of the concept art and achieving natural dynamic performance in the game. Next up here, what's special about the game's core gameplay? We have created a combat system that focuses on squads of five people. Players may give orders as the commander or directly control a character to take part in the action. The core gameplay revolves around taking cover to dodge attacks while killing the enemies on the battlefield. There are six types of weapons in the game, which are the core aspect of composing different tactics and strategies during combat. For example, you can use sniper rifles or rifles to accurately attack distant enemies, 
or use shotguns which are more efficient at short range distances in close quarter combat. Character skills are an indispensable part of any RPG game. Each character will have their own burst skill which they will have chances to cast during the battle. If the specific conditions are met, you can choose 3 of the 5 characters burst skills and use them to gain advantage. If the 3 burst skills are chosen and used strategically, the squad may enter the full burst mode which maximizes the potential damage output. As for the final 2 questions and answers here, we do have what's the world background and lore of the game. The backstory of the game is after the apocalypse, after doomsday, the surviving humans migrated to an underground facility named the Ark to preserve the species. They have created humanoid robotic weapons known as the Nikkeis to reclaim the surface. And for the final question and answer here, we do have is there multiplayer content in the game? And yes, we are perfecting a 5 player co-op game mode as well as other content that is also in production. So very nice to see here a Q&A here from the Nikkei developer team based on the G-Star interview. Overall, very nice answers here. They didn't address the summoning system or the censorship as I know many are concerned about that. But hopefully in a later Nikkei developer team post, they'll address the censorship as well as more of the summoning aspects of Nikkei. But overall, this is a pretty good interview to give us an idea of what we should expect for the gameplay as well as the type of story they're aiming for here on Nikkei. But anyways, everyone, that'll pretty much do it for today's Nikkei Goddess of Victory video here on the channel. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys did think of the answers here on the G-Star interview. Hopefully some of you were satisfied, but we'll be still waiting for the answers based on the censorship and of course more info on the gameplay mechanics such as the summoning system, etc. So hopefully we do have a developer team interview posted soon as they did just partake in the Anime Expo recently. So maybe they'll have more Q&As up on their social medias soon as well. But before you go everyone, make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys haven't yet done so already and are enjoying the Nikkei Goddess of Victory content here on the channel as of course I'll be covering Nikkei as soon as the game does release and hopefully we can manage to get into the closed beta test as well. And make sure to check out the links in the description box below to my Twitch channel as well as to my other social media such as my Twitter account and Discord server if you guys would like to check me out there as well. But with all of that being said I'll see you all in the next Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.